CoolersOnSale.com here for a USA made versus a non USA made cooler challenge. You guys at home wanted to see how well do the USA made coolers match up against some of the offshore coolers. So today we're going to go ahead and match those up. As you can see here in front of me, actually not all of them are in the shop because we have so many coolers. We're going to go ahead and match these coolers up. They're all sitting out here on the asphalt. They're going to remain out here for the duration of the test. We're going to rotate the beverages three times a day like we always do. And at the end of this test, we'll be able to confirm is there a difference between a USA made cooler versus a non USA made cooler. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's show you the coolers and show you where they're made so you guys can make the determination at home. First up, the Icer 45. This is a non USA made cooler filled to capacity with ice and two beverages on top. This is in a camo color. Next up is the Siberian Alpha Series 45 in a granite color. This is a non USA made cooler. 89 degrees on the surface of the cooler, 36 degrees on the inside. Same cooler next in white. This is a Siberian Alpha Series 45 in white. So we want to see is there a difference in uh, color that's going to be in a different test. I'll link to that in the description below. Again, a non-USA made cooler. Followed by the Otterbox Venture 45. This came highly recommended from you guys at home. This is a USA made cooler in tan. Next up is the Kenai 45. This is brought to you by the same company that makes Grizzly coolers. This is a USA made cooler, factory direct. Designed by Grizzly coolers, made in the USA. Next up is the Patriot 45. This performed really well in our previous challenge, but this is a front, uh, cooler from China, not USA made. Next up is the Technice. This was our top performing cooler in its size in the past. Not USA made, but really well built. Next up is a cooler that came highly recommended from you guys at home, the Kong 50. We have it in white and we also have it in gray. 89 degrees on the surface, 50 degrees on the inside. This is a USA made cooler. Next up is the same cooler in gray. Again, a Kong, 89 degrees on the surface, 44 degrees on the inside in gray, made in the USA. Next up is the Orca 58. This is made in the USA. This is one of our top performer coolers in multiple challenges in the past, so we'll see how this shakes out. But to be fair, it is one of the larger coolers in the test, so keep that in mind. Last but not least is the Custom Cooler Store 69 quart. This is the biggest cooler in the challenge. This is from China, non-USA made. So there you have it, a look at the coolers as well as on the inside. As with all our previous challenges, we pre-chilled these coolers for 24 hours. We went to the marina yesterday, filled all the coolers to capacity with ice. It was actually $300 worth of ice that we spent to fill all these coolers up, drained them down, and then topped them back up with ice and added the two beverages. For your sake and time's sake at home, we are gonna go ahead and speed through this and pick back up at the end of this video once we have some data on USA versus non-USA coolers. It took us nearly 10 days to reach the end of the USA made versus non USA made coolers. And we finally have some answers for you in terms of which is better from an ice retention standpoint. And I believe Team USA dominated the performance. What I've done here is I've put the best of both worlds. This is the best USA made cooler and the best non USA made cooler and then went out this way in terms of ice retention. So if you can see on the end, uh, the icer is all the way at the end. It's still held ice for seven days. So I don't want to discount 
count that cooler because still a really solid performance as well as the two Siberians. The white Siberian held ice for about a half a day longer than the granite colored Siberian and uh, you're still talking about eight days. So really solid performance, but if you want the hard numbers of which one held better, uh, the Team USA definitely dominated the performance, uh, especially in the smaller size. The Otterbox 45 held ice just as long as a Chinese made 69 quart cooler. Went nine and a half days, so incredibly long, especially considering throughout the test, uh, the lid temperatures every day were plus 100, so pretty hot out here, and to go that length of time is really, really impressive. One other thing I want to touch on is the build quality, because I think you get a little bit better build quality out of the USA made coolers. Uh, I've noticed some of the Chinese made coolers, some of the cheaper ones, which are not in this test. Actually, these are ones that we've reviewed in the past. You'll get some pitting in the lid. A lot of people will echo me on that after a year or so, especially if you leave it in the back of your truck. You'll get some pitting on the lid and it's just a cheaper quality uh, which I haven't seen on the USA made coolers. This Orca that I have here is still performing really well. We've had that I think for three and a half maybe four years and it looks like the day we got it and it's set out in the sun for uh, numerous tests as well as when we've been using it for ourselves. So keep that in mind. I just want to give you the hard numbers in terms of an ice retention standpoint because I don't want to detract from some of these other coolers because they are usually A uh, cheaper and B they're still putting up some pretty solid numbers considering the heat, but everyone wanted to know which one will hold ice better. We finally got some data. The Otterbox Venture 45 is the clear winner in my opinion. Although it held ice the same amount of time as the Kong uh, 50 quart, it's in white and it's five quarts more. And the uh, Chinese made custom cooler store 69 quart held ice roughly the same amount of time, but you're talking about uh, almost 20 quarts larger uh, in this cooler compared to the other two, and they went roughly the same time. So for me, the Otterbox venture is the clear winner but like I said they are more expensive so it's really comes down to to what you're looking for if you want to know exactly how long every one of these coolers lasted I'll link to that in the description below we're gonna have a full write-up on uh, coolers on sale.com just want to say thank you to you guys because you are the ones that recommended this if you want to see a different test please drop us a line in the comments below otherwise subscribe give us a thumbs up it's what helps us to keep going and we'll be back next time for more video reviews